What is up everyone? It's that Motion Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do a new car video and frankly guys, it's all done too. I just bought this thing about four days ago. Uh, today's Monday, I bought it on Friday. Uh, so I picked it up Friday, brought it home. Saturday, I worked on it. Sunday, I worked on it and I finished it today. I basically have, not counting today, basically two full days. Uh, Saturday, I kind of worked on it here, or pretty much all day. Sunday, I kind of worked on it half the day, and then I finished it today. This thing took no time at all to build, very minimal effort. Uh, bone stock build, basically. Uh, not very much you could do. I was allowed to weld the door shut, so I did do that. And basically it's just move the gas tank, some other stuff, and that's about it, guys. There's not very much to do, and I basically crushed this thing out in like, like I said, like two, th two and a half days, two days. And she looks pretty good, guys. She looks pretty mean, so guys ready to see what I got going? I got myself a rally van. Uh, there are some issues I'm fighting right now uh, with the fuel or something, some sort of system underneath. Uh, she'll run if I have my foot on the gas, but as soon as I let it off, she'll want to kill or, so, or kill or stop. So I'm thinking there's something going on with maybe fuel pressure or. Um, I'm otherwise it's something with the air intake. I've been trying to figure that out. I'm still gonna kind of putz around with it, but she's basically built, guys. And I, I'm pretty stoked on running this thing, guys. Uh, this derby is not for a few weeks yet. Um, it's basically the same time as when the combine is. So I'm pretty stoked on getting this thing pretty much done. Uh, I was kind of a last minute decision to do it, but I ended up uh, uh, finding or finding a van. I bought it off of one of my coworkers' friends, and basically just threw it together quick. Uh, the longest part was stripping the thing. Otherwise, it's bare minimum cage, uh, weld the door shut, moves wiring, uh, throw some skitties on. I put some donuts in the back. But, uh, we'll walk around. I'm allowed any o OEM bumper, and it can be seam welded. And I've had, or this was came off the Ghostbusters car. It was sitting over here, so I decided, you know what? Let's just throw it on. Uh, I can cut it off once I'm done with it. So this is the, my 74 Impala bumper that I've ran only a handful of times. So this is going to be a really tough bumper. This frame up front here, this van I don't think is going to be very good up front anyways. Uh, it's got a lot of fa big factory holes and stuff, that, and the frame's not very thick. But I think keeping this, um, uh, having this bumper up front makes this front look very intimidating and maybe will end up keeping people away. Uh, we'll see what happens, but um, yeah. You're not allowed very much. It's pretty, pretty bone stock. You just chain everything shut, or you can weld six two by three inch plates. I just took some uh, some rebarb stuff and I just cut it into sections and just welded all the door, weld all the door shut, and I taped the tops. I think that's gonna just be enough to just kind of keep everything together. We'll see how she does, but yeah, the front looks really mean. I took all the, I took the radiator out, cleared everything out, and then put the radiator back in, just seat built it in. I did fill it with water, so we'll see how this thing does. I will use the front a little bit uh, when it comes down to it, but for the most part, it's all going to be going backwards. Uh, we're going to see what what she does i like i said i got my skitties up front i just bought these from a buddy of mine 
just bought them so i'm pretty stoked on trying these out they're a little narrower but they're on lumina rims and surprisingly these fit i was actually pretty stoked that they did uh airbags removed that airbag is uh the wires are cut so it shouldn't go off um yeah i left the passenger seat in i don't think i'm allowed a passenger but we'll see if i'm if i can or not probably not uh a very bare minimum cage i got a flat piece of steel here and then i got it's actually a pipe and it goes down here and then it comes up it's slight it has a slight bend in it so i just kind of mounted it as low as it could go granted i'm not going to really need it just because of this is just a van class it's super simple super easy and i got my my flat piece of steel coming all the way out and then the in-between bar i literally didn't have to cut much everything kind of just went in so i'm pretty stoked gas tank i i did end up having to i had a different fuel pump in it it didn't work or it worked but i was thinking it didn't work and then i put a different i put the original one in this tank and it still didn't work it actually ran worse so i took that one out put a put this one in and it ends up it actually runs a little better so i think we'll be okay um yeah there's like literally i stripped this thing in about half a day not even just kind of just started pulling and throwing everything in this car so this car is going to go into scrap and then i got something else coming home with me once i bring that in so i'm pretty stoked on that but this is the rally van i think it's chevy just because of the gm bolt pattern so i think it's at least a chevy or a chrysler or something like that uh I know these aren't the best of vans to have out there, but she's got speed. She gets up and goes pretty quick. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how this thing does. Um, something I didn't realize is I put my three spots real close right here. So I wonder if that's going to help. I, tr I spaced it out on the other side. So we'll see what side goes worse, I guess. And then that will kind of tell me where to space them out. I know I should probably like do them up here, like one up here, kind of tie that corner together and then do these here. But frankly, I don't really care enough. It's just, I'm going to put it to the floor and we're just going to start smoking people. I don't know what the paint job is going to be yet. I have an idea, but we'll see, see what I end up doing. Oh, Plymouth. Plymouth Voyager. But, yeah. Uh, I got basically welded three here. Did the same thing there. Just to hold this tailgate here. So, what I want to do, want it to happen is everything sucks in. And then, it, once it goes in, this should suck in. That pillars and stuff should be all right. I've seen them, I've had them. Basically, you when you're using the back end, these these like to basically blow up and then open up at, at the top. So I'm thinking, but I didn't use weld, I used nine wire. So, or actually it wasn't even nine wire. If I remember it, it was seat belts. So that basically the whole thing blew apart. So I think if we can keep these together, this should be pretty solid. I've seen them basically, they basically like go up and then they start the belly somewhere in here. So we'll see, we'll see what it does. But there you go guys. There's a little, little new car video and new build video. I didn't do really all that much, but basically stripped it, put a cage in, welded, welded the door shut um moves my wiring got the computers up and out of the way and ran my battery wires and the 
one fuel line. I was looking for the return. I could not find it. And I think it's just a sending unit. There's no return unit. So, or if there is, I don't know where it is. And it's probably just dripping out underneath if it is. But yeah, I did as much wire, wire moving as I wanted. So, so yeah, I got a, oops, sorry about that guys. Right there, I just covered the intake with some sort of fabric just to keep any anything from kind of going into it so yeah i was actually a little upset about it because i was fighting the fuel tank issues and i was really really stoked on getting it done in like two days but i ended up fighting some of the fuel tank issues and i just needed to take a break and she's done i was really worrying about it but not anymore she's running and driving stopping so that's a perk too but there you go guys uh hope you guys enjoyed this video uh don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button if you're new to this channel and we'll catch you guys all in the next video